Hi guys, my name is Karen, this is my channel Rather Be Reading and today I'm bringing to you my April TBR. So my April TBR has a lot of books on it that are actually carryovers from my March TBR. I didn't do too well on my March TBR which is actually very unusual for me. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I filmed that video quite late in like for a TBR. I filmed it on like the 9th or 10th and I really didn't take into account that the month was almost a third over by that stage. And I also just, my reading as I mentioned um, in my March wrap up has just really been slowing down. I've been so busy and I just have not been finding as much time as I would like to actually like sit down and read. So hopefully that can pick up a bit more in April. But as always, let's start with the library books that I'm hoping to get through. Um, in the month of April, the first four books, as I said, these are all the first four uh, books that were on my March TBR. So the first one that I have here is Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Now this I am actually currently reading. I'm currently on page 204. So there's, of the actual novel, is about 450 pages. So I'm almost halfway in this, which is not too bad. I've been reading this for about three days. Um, it is slow going because of the writing style but I am enjoying it a lot more than I thought that I, that I might like I was a bit wary about Dickens like you just hear things about Dickens a bit and about how hard his writing is so I am enjoying this more than I thought which is really good I'm hoping that I would love to get this finished this weekend I'm filming this on the first Saturday but that's probably not going to happen because I actually really don't get that much time to read on the weekends um, and I'm out like it's I'm filming this Saturday night and Saturday afternoon, late Saturday afternoon, and I'm out all day tomorrow, and so it just probably, it isn't going to happen, but I would love to finish this as soon as I can. As I say, I'm almost halfway, so that is definitely doable. I then, from my library pile, will be picking up Nimona by Noelle Stevens. As I've mentioned, this, I'm sure you all know, this is a graphic novel. I should be able to get through this pretty quickly. This is only about less than 300 pages, and it is a graphic novel, which obviously are a lot quicker to read. I believe this is about a girl, Nimona, who becomes a sidekick to, like, a supervillain. That's all I really know about this. I've heard really good things about it, and I have been really wanting to read this, so I should definitely be getting to this one in April. I then have... The Indigo Spell by Rochelle Mead. This is the third book in the Bloodline series. I really, really do want to continue on with this series. I've been enjoying it so much, and I don't want to forget like what's going on in the series. So again, hopefully, I really can get to this one in April. I only read two library books in the month of March, like so. I can say hopefully I can get through these. I then have Hit or Miss by Emily Rodder. As I've mentioned, this shouldn't take me too long to get through. I think this is book twenty six in the series. No, this is book twenty seven. So hopefully, I can get to that one. And then the other book from the library that I would like to get to in the month of April that wasn't on my TBR from last month is Summer Days or Summer Nights by, Steph well, edited by Stephanie Perkins. Um, I've been really, really wanting to read this because I did read My True Love Gave to Me, the Christmas collection, and I really enjoyed that um, collection, so I am hoping to get to this in April. Now let's jump into the books from my physical TBR that I would like to get to in the month of April. The first of those is... The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Again, this one was on my March TBR. I think this is the only book from the physical books, though, that was on my March TBR that I didn't get to. And that's mainly because I had other books come up in March that I forgot about, like a review book and stuff that I needed to get to. Um, this is a thriller about a woman who rides the train every day. And there's this couple that she watches, like, from the train that she sees every day. And then she thinks that something's happened or the girl goes missing or something. I'm not sure. Um, so I am... I've been wanting to read this for a long time. I do really want to watch this movie as well. So I'm excited to finally get to this in the month of April. And the other book from my physical TBR is actually a bind up. And that is Lux Beginnings by Jennifer L. Armitrout. This has got the first two books in the series, I believe. Yes, Obsidian and Onyx. So I would like to get through both of those um, this month. I'd be really happy with that. Now, those are the only... Um, two books are kind of actually off my physical TBR, but I would also like to this month read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. I would like to finally start my reread of this series this month. I would, like I say, I would just be happy if I made it through the first book um, this month. I do plan to read this in this illustrated edition. I don't know if I'll read it exclusively in this. I may read my novel and then just wherever I get to that day, like come home and flick through the pages, or I might just read this like while I'm at home and be reading something else maybe as like my book on the bus because I really do want to experience this in the illustrated um, edition. 
um, and I'm really excited to finally, I haven't like had a quick flick through this, but I haven't looked at all of the pictures because I want to experience it while I'm reading it. So I'm really excited to get to this and I've been wanting to reread Harry Potter for like two years. Now to just touch on the ebooks that I would like to get through um, in the month of April. I would like to read Day of Judgment by Felicity Pullman. That's one that I should definitely get to this month. This is the sixth and final book in the Yana Chronicles by Felicity Pullman. So I'm really excited to finally be getting done with that series. I do also have Swept Away by um, Jay Haymore, is it? Yeah, Jay Haymore. That is a book that I have from NetGalley that I mentioned in a TBR a couple of months ago, but I didn't get to. And then I had other, um, like, more pressing, um, like, review dates on NetGalley, and so I never got to this one, but I would like to get to it now. I'm still not clear what this is about. I believe it's a contemporary romance. I'm not sure what kind of romance, if it's just, like, a romance, if it's new adult adult I'm not sure I just know it's contemporary romance and I don't know if it's like a fluffy romance or like an angsty romance I'm really not sure I just know that it's romance the final um ebook I would like to get to is another NetGalley book an older like release of NetGalley and that is The Sham by Ellen Allen now this one I'm a little bit like worried about reading I have had this book like I said been a proof on NetGalley for a long time so I do want to get to it however um Missy from Binge Reader read this like quite a while ago and she absolutely despised it she gave it one star and she had a lot of problems with it so I am like I'm wary going into this one um so I don't I really don't know what this is about either I all I know is that it's a young adult mystery thriller that's Basically, all I know is the, um, like, genre. I don't know, like, the particulars of what this is about. Um, like I say, and I'm very wary because of Missy's, like, absolute, just, like, loathing for this book. Um, like, she really, really didn't like it. And, like, not just, like, as in, like, she didn't think it was good. Like, she had a lot of problems with it. So I am a little bit wary going in. But I do have it from NetGalley, and I would like to read it and put a review up, even if that is not a positive review. But we'll see. Maybe I will like it better than she did. Finally, just to touch on the audiobooks that I would like to get through in the month of April. First off is an audiobook that I'm actually currently listening to. I'm actually about 90% of the way through. Um, I listened to most of it in March, but I will be finishing it this month, and that is Mariana by Susanna Kearsley. Now, Susanna Kearsley is an author that I've heard a little bit about. I know Alexis over at Shelf Life Extension really, really loves Susanna Kearsley, and my sister has actually read, um, like, listened to a couple of books by her on audio and enjoyed them. Um, and I've never ever read anything by her, but I saw this in the Available Now section. And I was like, oh, Susanna Kearsley, like, I'd love to check that out. So I borrowed it, and I'm listening to it now, and I'm quite enjoying it. She, It's kind of like a magical realism type story about a woman who sees this house when she's a child, and she's always been really, really drawn to this house she, through circumstances. When she's older, she ends up buying the house. And as she's living in the house, she starts to be drawn back into the past, into the life of this woman who previously lived in the house. So you're following both, like, kind of timeline of um, Julia, who's living in the house presently, and Mariana, who lived in the house, like, hundreds of years ago. As I said, I'm almost done with it, so I am really just kind of, like, waiting now to find out how it ends, and I am really enjoying it, so I'm really excited to be getting done with that one. Now, next, I am still on hold. I mentioned this in my March TBR, but I'm still on hold for it. It hasn't come in yet, but I am first in line, so it should definitely come in in the month of April, and that is Blackbird by Anna Carey. This is a young adult mystery thriller, and all I know about it is that I think it's about a girl who wakes up on train tracks, I think it is, and she doesn't know anything about her life except that there are people after her who are trying to kill her, I think. It's only a duology, um, and both books are on my overdrive, so hopefully I will at least be getting through the first one of those this month. And the other audiobook I'm hoping to get to is another one that I still am on hold for that I was on hold for last month, and that is Quiet, um, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking by Suzanne Cain. Um, this is a nonfiction story about introverts, obviously. I really have been wanting to read this, and I just feel like it's a really good time for me to be reading that book right now. Um, so I really do want to get to that one this month. Hopefully that will come in. That one had a lot of holds on it, and I believe I'm now third in line I think so and I think there's about three copies so hopefully that one will be coming in in the month of April and I am also on hold for one other audiobook at the moment and that is The Most Dangerous Place on Earth by Lindsay Lee Johnson this one just sounded really interesting to me this is a young adult story about I think it follows the teacher but it is a young adult story the teacher kind of gets caught up in the lives of these teenagers out of her school um, and there is some kind of like, big event that all happened in, like, these several, like, really privileged students' lives in middle school, and it's, like, this big kind of, like, secret, I think, and they're trying to discover, like, she's trying to discover what went on. I think that's what it's about. It sounds really interesting and, like, something that would be really up my alley, so I am hoping that that one comes in in the month of April as well. 
So those are all of the books that I'm hoping to get to, the main books that I'm hoping to get to in April. If I could get through all of these, it would be really amazing, especially all of those library books, because as I said, I only read two library books last month, so I would like to get through, because my library pile, I don't have too many books on hold, I think like three books on hold at the moment, but my library stack is like, I feel like, I fear that it's at the point of almost toppling over. That's where we're at with the library stacks. I would like to get through some of those. I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below if you have read any of these books, if you have any thoughts or the main books that you're really hoping to get to in the month of April. It would be really awesome to chat in the comments down below. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. But that's all I've got for this video today. Bye, guys!